Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India, and once again I am here with my new tutorial for CG Tutors Plus exclusively. And you must have seen in the preview what I am gonna tell today. Today I'll tell you about a free script. Yes, absolutely free of cost script. You don't have to pay even a single penny for that, and with the help of that script, you can animate the bones in 3ds Max in such a way which you wouldn't have thought about it ever before. This is a very easy to use a script, yet very very effective. This script is developed by Saichun Yuan. If you go to this uh, website, scriptspot.com, you will find here Spring Magic. This is a script developed for uh, 3ds Max and the person who has developed this script is Sachin Yuan. And as you can see uh, here that you can make such kind of uh, bone animation with the help of this uh, script. A very flexible bone animation. This is Spring Magic version 7. And this is a Spring Magic uh, version 8. And you can use it with the 3ds Max 2009, 2010 and so on. And if you come down here, you will find two versions of Spring Magic available. Spring Magic 7 and Spring Magic 8. So you can download the script uh, from here. Right click here and uh, save link as and uh, this will be saved on your hard disk this is uh, already a saved version so i replace it with the with this okay and now once um, you have saved open that folder where you have saved it copy it and then go to c drive program files autodesk 3ds max 2009 or whatever version you have and here search for script folder and just uh, paste the copied spring magic script here that's it now you're done this is 3ds max you can do a start 3ds max too but um, in this case you don't have to restart your 3ds max application because you haven't installed anything new so now everything is ready First of all, uh, I'll tell you a bit about Spring Magic. How does it work? What are its parameters? Since it works on bone system, so let me create a small bone rig for the example. So I go to systems and uh, choose bone. And on the left side, um, I make a chain of bones. That's it. So this is the bone structure. Now go to helper and make a dummy here. Now select the first bone and make it as the child of the dummy. Go to select and link. Click on the bone and connect it to the dummy. Now wherever the dummy goes, the bones will follow it. Now let's do a little bit of animation with dummy. Turn the auto key button on. Go to frame 10 and rotate the dummy something like this. At, eight, at 20, rotate it like this at 30 something like this at 40 maybe something like this so I'm trying to animate the dummy with the with random rotation value just like that no specific rule
something like this I think uh, that's fine now turn the auto key button off now go to the now go to max script run a script and go to the folder where you have uh, put the spring magic dot msc file select it and open a small window of uh, spring magic opens and it works on spline and bones you can animate a spline too with the script select the first bone start with the first frame and uh, and this is the spring value default is 0.3 this is loop you can set the loopable animation here now this is active time len length this is range right now active time len length is set to 0 to 100 frames and uh, also you can put a range from maybe 1 to 50 or 60 whatever range of frames you like since the first bone is selected so now click on bone and once you click this you will see how beautifully this whole chain of bones is uh, animating it makes key frames on every frame play this how beautiful this is animating you really don't have to take any tension of animation everything is animating itself very dynamic animation if you try to do such kind of animation with the default parameters in 3ds max it will take hours and hours and even after that there is no guarantee of such kind of uh, dynamic action you can make fish snake or any kind of reptile animation with the help of this script you can animate a spline also with this method for that you have to take a spline with several vertices attach it with a dummy having several vertices very important thing this is a spring value if you make it one and then simulate it you will find something like this this has become very rigid there is no flexibility so don't make it one I press escape key to cancel the simulation now if you keep the value very low like 0.1 then it will act very very slow if you require you may go with that but I think 0.3 is a very good value so you can use this very often this is a very small script yet very very powerful now I have made a small snake kind of model uh, so I merge this model into the scene this is the snake this is a snake model I I won't really call it a snake it doesn't look like the one but just for the example purpose I have made it so I put it here and uh, delete the old bone chain setup I'll make a new one for it so pick bone and uh, here in left viewport I start making a new bone rig setup as I am going towards the tail I am making small bones so that the so that this part could react with more flexibility so this is the complete bone setup I put it here at the place of the mesh that's fine
Now just like before, create a dummy and uh, put it here. And first of all, make this bone as a child of this dummy. Now select the mesh, could be renamed uh, as a snake. I would call it snake. And uh, now apply a skin modifier onto it. And then I add all the bones I have made. Select all and select. All the bones have come here in the list. This is bone 1, bone 2 and so on. Just like before, now let's animate the dummy randomly. I have uh, animated the dummy just like uh, before and now uh, and now run the script magic script once again. Everything is fine here. Select the first bone and uh, now click on bone and uh, see the animation. It looks like it looks fantastic. You can clearly see that uh, it just looks like a snake or some reptile is moving. It looks simply great. Now let's make some other kind of uh, movement. Select the dummy and select all of its keyframes and delete them. Once again, uh, turn the auto key button on, go to 100 frames and drag the dummy till this point. Now you can see the path of the animation. For that go to motion and click on trajectory. And now you can see the path of the animation. Now turn the auto key on and uh, go to 10 or maybe 25 and um, make it something like this. This way you can see the trajectory being deformed too. Then go to 50, move it here, go to, go to then 75 and move the dummy here. Now you have an animated path for the dummy. Just make it off and bring spring magic. Select the first bone, okay, and then click on bone. Now you will see that the dummy is going along the trajectory and then the bones are animating according to that. Play the animation and it looks pretty good. Perhaps I have taken rather bigger leaps during the animation. Um, so go to 10th frame and uh, turn the auto key button on and now move the dummy here. Or we have first delete all the old keyframes. Oops, um, not the last one. Okay, and now go to 20 and move it here. Go to 30 and move it here. So just like this, I complete the animation till here. That's it. Once it is done, I select the first bone and again click on bone. Now it looks better than before. Looks quite good. Looks like some snake is crawling. So it depends upon you what kind of animation path you create. 
and you can create some more elements to make a complete scene you can do texturing lighting so many things which I'll not cover here uh, for a smoothness you can apply a mesh smooth or turbo smooth modifier onto the model to make it look smooth now it looks quite nice so guys I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial this is a great script by Sai Chin Yuan and this makes things a lot easier so give it a try guys so let's meet in some other tutorial this is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tutors Plus exclusively bye bye